Good morning. This is Roman the Keller Golfer and this is how I play the course. Today's morning we are at Royal Portrush. I can't tell you how happy I am that I'm able to play this course on such a beautiful morning. It's early April and the course is still pretty much closed in preparation for the Open, so don't be surprised we are playing off mats, but that should not affect the game or the video in total, so I hope you enjoy it too. As most of you know, Royal Portrush will host the Open for the first time since 1951. The course has gone through some massive renovation, including some new holes, adding lengths and adding a certain amount of difficulties to make it more fun for the professionals. Well, on a weather like this, there's almost no wind. I hope to have some fun too today. we are playing from today. Um, they will be playing mats until the Open, so from April onwards uh, until the Open also the members uh, will play from mats, except if you have an open invitation then you're allowed to play from the guys. First of all you see I'm quite in the middle of the fairway, uh, it's into the wind so I took a driver and I had to a 145 uh, including the uphill into the green. Lovely day today and I'm joined by Horatio and his wife and they're from Argentina. Then Lucy Castle, that's the reason why the course is named like that, but uh, it's probably difficult to see. 
nevertheless a beautiful spot, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Absolutely. May I share that story? I like that. So Mark just told me he played with Darren Clark and uh, said, "What in the window was driver three wood, three wood five, five iron. iron, but from the back tips, which is 593 yards long, and uh, on the way back, <laughs> a day later, it's driver six iron. So oh well, I'm doing good with no wind. There was now driver three wood and probably something like a lockwood." <laughs> players through the crowds. Well imagine the crowds up here everywhere cheering. No matter what you say, if you got something to say. And that's called the open tunnel now. I'm tired of all the people running after Silence so, so part of you is there's the Eiffel Tower in the back, French Quarter of Fort Rush, ah, and that's where we're aiming. Today with no wind at least. The so second shot towards the bank, everything right is bad, Valley of Sin, we'll have a look at that. <laughs> no, I'm trying my best to keep it left.
five is too short. It's played as a part five anyway for the amateurs and as a bar four during the open. You see that huge <laughs> false front, whatever, value of sin, <laughs> how you call it. So I'm actually not on the Champions Sea. The Champions Sea is way up there, almost where the guys are standing. So, um, yeah, well, for the pros, it's going to be a bit longer. For us, it looks like that. So that is, hole is called Causeway. Because in the very back, you might see the cliff, which is actually the giant causeway. Where's a visit? I can tell you. So uh, this is your aim, actually, just at the cliff and play towards the causeway. It's supposed to be one of the signature holes of Royal Fortress. The green is in the back on top of that, so all to the right is dragons. And uh, yeah, I missed mine way to the left from the frontiers, but uh, let's see how that goes. It's really intimidating if you're standing here, you don't want to be down there. Imagine that with 50,000 people a day watching for the open.
Now I'm standing here on top of the hill for the 18th, the 18th hole, and you can just imagine on the left side there will be grandstands almost two thirds of the hole. They're just building them up, but I just can only imagine how it must feel to walk down that. Yeah, well, let's finish this 18th hole. Let's see how it goes and just enjoy the rest of the round. So this is the walk down the 18th. What an unbelievable round on a lovely course. I have to thank Mark McKetty. You should not play links courses without a caddy, I think. They just have too much knowledge about the course and know where it is and you're just a little freer to hit your balls. It makes it much easier. Well, the course has been almost easy with no wind and sun and no snow and whatever. So it definitely will toughen up once the rough is higher. The last time they've cut it, the rough was in November and they keep it growing since uh, until the open. Uh, just to get an idea, the stuff behind me where it can easily play out will be about knee high. It's such a great day. If you're up here, give it a chance, play Royal Port Rush and enjoy it hopefully as much as I did. If you like what you've seen, please hit the subscribe button, leave me a like, of course leave comments of what could be improved or what you'd like to see next and I hope to see you soon here at the Color Golfers. Thank you and bye bye.